Hey, good weekend everybody. Hope you're all doing well. We have Lyle coming here for my weekend shave. Hope everyone's been enjoying their weekend. Hope you've had some nice weather and you've been able to uh, spend time with your family. So for this shave, I'm doing something that's kind of special for me. Um, <laughs> I'm actually going to shave my JR Tory 13 16 This is my own edge. This is my second shave with it. Um, I did not take this back, back to bevel set. Uh, the razor was just tuggy and not feeling the best, so I just did a full JNAT progression on it. Uh, yesterday, and shave for the first time yesterday, today's my second shave. So for today's shave, software wise, we are going to use First Canadian Shave Maximal. This is a take on uh, Cognac and Cuban cigars, it's zesty citrus in it, tobacco leaf, fetiver, and uh, patchouli. I have it all lathered up already this time for you guys. Did my Thirsty Badger uh, bowl. This is a test bowl. Like I said, this is a little smaller than the normal ones. And using my Coyote Cuts, Mad Hatter and Lime, the 26 millimeter uh, hand tied luxury Manchurian knot. So I'm just gonna wet the face and we'll get this going. And hope that I'll have a good shave. <laughs> So the Santo Maxim was awesome. Um, I quite enjoy it. I do get, unlike other um, cognac and Cuban cigar, here's what I want, kind of scents. Um, this one's zestier. And I think it's the type of citrus that put, that's put in here. Um, it's very nice. Gives you that well, zestiness zip. I would quite enjoy it. And the tobacco side to me is more like tobacco leaf, I think. Not like off a cigar smoke, which is nice. And I might get a little bit of that vetiver earthiness underneath it. I'm not sure if I'm getting a lot of the patchouli or not, but I'm sure it's in there if Randy says it is, so. So I'm a little tired today. Ooh. Um, my wife had her friends from her social distancing, our little group that's allowed size over last night. And we uh, had a nice supper, get together. I smoked a, a six kilogram, what's that, 13, 14 pound, 14 pound uh, pork shoulder. That's a nice pulled pork. A lot of drinks. <laughs> Ended up uh, quitting drinking, thankfully, and having to, you know, about 10 p.m. and had to drive the ladies home at 3 a.m., but it's a lot of fun. This lather's insanely well. You get a nice, beautiful lather with this. It's slick. I do believe, I'll put the ingredients up for you guys. Just let me look here. So first Canadian has what they call their buffalo milk base and their goat's milk base. Buffalo milk being the premium one. And I think Ryan is slowly gonna be switching everything over to that. But I'm pretty sure this is, yep, goat's milk base. I will put those ingredients up for you guys. Along with the scent notes. But I think we're pretty much good to go here. I'll add a little bit more water to know the base can take it. Holy crap. And there goes the lather flying everywhere. Should be golden. 
So this is exciting for me. You know, this is not a really review of anything. I mean, I love this soap base. Randy did an awesome job of V3. We've talked about it many times. He's got some good scents. He's got some controversy out there with the name of the one, but whatever. It's an amazing, amazing base. It does everything it's supposed to. It does it extremely well. And cost is excellent on it. You know, 22 bucks Canadian. What the hell is that? It's even less than that, I think. 20 to 22 bucks Canadian. I mean, take 30, 33% off that for American pricing. Uh, somewhere in that area anyways. Super good value for four ounces of soap, I think it is. Yep. So, here we go. JR Tory, 13 sixteenths. Extra hollow. Second shade with my J Nat Edge on it. Let's see how the second shade feels. Pretty good. <laughs> you know, for my first edge, um, I'm very happy I can share with it. It's my first time horning, period. Um, watched a lot of videos, talked to a couple home meisters, <clears throat> got some good direction, some good advice, and I made sure I followed it and I just took my time. I did make some errors, and I know I did during the process. Um, It's not as laser sharp as it was when I first had it home by a true home meister, but it's sharper than it was before I put it to the stones. It was tuggy before I put it to the stones and it's not that bad at all right now. I did, and it's sharp enough to cut yourself. <laughs> Sliced myself pretty good there with it yesterday. I was trying something new and I screwed up. This is doing really well, guys. Like, I'm just... super happy. I'm expecting a little blood today. I might reopen that that slice. That's okay. And I had a couple weepers down here, but. Honestly, I can shave with my first time off a of JNAT. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Even if it was just a refresh. There's no no need to take this back to Bell set. Nope. At least not yet. <laughs> that feels pretty damn good. A little blood, but that's okay. I'm very, very happy with how that, that edge is feeling. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I I love the edges that I get put on my razors. Um, and I spent time picking the edge I love from this guy um, with two different edges and everything. But to be able to start putting my own edges on and get shaves with them, it's something else. Especially off of JNAT with... Um, in a Gura progression. So there was, when I redid this edge, what I mean was, there's no synthetic stones used at all. I'll uh, put pictures of my kit up for you guys. So far, at least my JMAT. I do have synthetics and everything. So what I have bought so far is I have 
Sigma um, 1K, 3K, and I have my full JNAT progression. And a 400 grit diamond plate. So my JNAT is a, from the mine Shogunani. Uh, I believe it's called a Misa Asagi for the color. Um, it's a small stone. It's not a full bench. But then it's got the Nagura set that came with it, which I have to, <laughs> I wrote this down, so I always get these words wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, is a, it's got the Botan, Tenju, Niru, and Koma, plus the Toma. The Toma, I understand it means like same, and it's basically the same kind of rock, or cut from the same slab as my Jaina, and you use that as your very first stage of slurry making on the Jaina. Cross the grain. Nice. It feels really good to have done this myself. I got the stones. Like I said, I didn't touch them for like three weeks. I just spent that time watching videos. My guys like Keith, Caleb, all those ones, talking to my home meisters, learning, getting tips. And just trying to get to the point where I was comfortable that I thought I could get myself a shavable edge without making too many mistakes. Or use them, yeah. I made mistakes when I did this, and I know I did. But the idea is to do it and improve, right? Because you can buy the stones all you want. But if you don't actually use them, practice and get edges and shave them and enjoy them and learn why the hell by the stones. So. Just remember you're not going to be a home the fire right off the bat, right? You may have some good edges, decent edges, which I feel very blessed that I was able to do that. But, uh, you may get some shitty edges. And I'm sure I might fuck up my next one, right? And honestly, I'm going to just spend time on this one razor for a while, Tony. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of different ones. I just want to get used to muscle memory, proper technique, all in one razor. Um, and without taking it back, the bevel set, you know, I lose a ton of metal. I'll lose some of it, obviously, but not an insane amount. But my idea is just to get that repetitive, that practice, that muscle memory, like when you first learn to shave, right? And just keep refining this edge as best as I can until I get to the point where I'm like, shit, like, this is what I want my final result to be. And then I can move on to other razors honing after I've uh, proven to myself I can do that a couple times. So, so yesterday when I used this, I did take it back to the straw before my against the grain. Let's put a little more water in so I know it can take it. And uh, today I'm not going to. I'm going to test this out.
and see what I think of it this way so Oh, excuse me, guys. I'm really tired today, too. Like I said, I was up late. I only got about five hours sleep before the kids had me up, but that's okay. That was my choice, right? So, here we go, against the grain. I'm drying my hands off here, a little wet, sorry. Feels pretty good. A little tuggy right up in there, but I find most badges I use are always. Doesn't matter what it has been. It's where my thickest growth is, is uh, the mustache, the goatee area all through there. So. Maximo is a great soap. Excellent scent on this. Its scent strength is probably a solid six, six and a half at least out of seven, or out of ten, sorry. Could be even slightly more than that. Um, it's still sitting here, I can still smell it very, very well. And the soap performs great. I mean, That's why I picked this for the shave because I know I'd get great slickness. I mean, Randy's a straight head, uh, straight razor shaver, does his head and everything with a straight. So I know it's, it's designed for good slickness and good protection when using a straight. And I know that. I know the performance of it. I know it won't let me down as long as I don't fuck up. in there drive me insane guys okay let's do this fool's pass <laughs> go not too sorry not too bad at all there guys just clean up the nostrils
Felt good, good protection from first cleansing shave. I mean, they're gonna buff the rest of the straight razor. Falls my pressures right, no problems. I just duck that point in my nose a bit. It's okay. It gets pretty smooth. So let's just check out the rest of the shave here. Again, that jawline. It's always a pain in the butt for me. This is where I cut myself yesterday with this thing. <laughs> I have to be very careful. Oh, my hands are slick, and I'm having a hard time getting a good grip here. I'm trying to avoid this as much as possible. Got it a bit, so we're gonna leave it. Let that area heal up a bit. It's a little rougher there, it's not a big deal. Okay, I'm gonna call that. Just rinse this off here, everyone. See how it feels again. I don't want to. Yeah, there's a couple areas I can still clean up, but you know what? It'll dehydrate here nicely right away and give me BBS. Um, it's not a big deal. So, here we go. Let's put a little alum just on this part right here. I know some people say this doesn't help with bleeding or cuts, but you know what? Salt. Is basically what alum is, and it will help seal up, heal up stuff. And keep it clean, right? So, let's let that sit for a second. Okay, let's get it off there. Nice cold water now. dry guys there we go feels good like I said second shave with my edge um, not the best edge in the world but it's a serviceable workable edge and very happy with that for my first time on the JNAT. So, uh, for the post shave on this, I am going to go with the Match and Splash from Randy. These are, yeah, witch hazel based. The only ones that have alcohol in them, I'm pretty sure, are the Triple X versions, which right now is only a, was only available in uh, Dick and Cider. But I'm bugging them to bring one out for Drecky. So the reason I put my hands up there, I don't want to have to do it with witch hazel ones, it just stays the routine for me. I want to have alcohol splashes. I put them up just to let some of the alcohol evaporate a little bit before I put it on my face. Oh, some of my dog's freaking out. That feels really, really good though. I'm really happy. I'm just gonna rinse this off real quick here. Just so you guys can see everything better.
and we will do a quick review for you. Like I said, this, this wasn't really a review of anything. just want to try my own edge, share the experience with you guys, my excitement, happiness. Um, it's very cool to be getting to this next step of using a straight razor. It's a big rabbit hole, it scares me a little bit. So hopefully I can take my time with it and not go so straight, go crazy. <laughs> so today, I used First Canadian Shave Maximo Goat's Milk Base, along with, you saw me finish it off with the Matching Splash. Great scent. It's a nice take on the cold, uh, Cognac and Cuban cigar kind of vibe. Uh, my kind of experimental Thirsty Badger Lather Bowl, smaller than the typical ones. The Mad Hatter and Lime by Coyote Cuts with 26 millimeter luxury Manchurian, and I believe he gets some hand tied for him. Let's do this out. As always, I use the Storm uh, Trooper mug for soaking my brush and getting the water to make my lathers. And what today's video is really about was the JR Tory 13 16 uh, with my edge on it, guys. Quite enjoyed it. I will be taking this back to the stone zone to see if I can improve it. Second shave went very well. Not a lot of blood, a little bit of irritation, like a little bit of reopening that. There was one there, but it's already sealed up. So I have zero qualms. I'm extremely happy with that. And I just want to thank you guys for joining me for uh, this video to come along with my honing journey now, testing razors. I'll probably be doing that quite a bit. Maybe uh, eventually here I'll show you guys a video of me honing. Um, just want to get a little more comfortable with it first before that and figure out a setup for that. So thanks for taking your time to spend, uh, you know, 20, 30 minutes with me on this video today. I do appreciate your support. Just want to say, enjoy your day, everyone. Happy shaving.